This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, this will be live eel casting. If you look in the upper left-hand corner of the two hooks, look at the one on the right, the second hook. Uh, that's a Kamikatsu Octopus Hook 7.0. That is the hook for many years I use for live eel casting for striped bass. Um, the one on the left is uh, now, by regulation, I can't use that one on the right for stripers. Um, I have to use a circle hook with any kind of bait. So that's a Kamikatsu uh, inline circle. Uh, 7.0 and below that is a, a fake eel and in either case uh, you go in underneath the jaw out just behind uh, an eye socket. Alright you cast it out, slow retrieve, uh, when you get a hit you just kind of bow and then crank, do not set with a circle hook and if all goes well here's the result. Okay, this is not the main event of this video, but this is what I was out to do, and uh, striper fishing has been really slow. It's why you're seeing so many fluke fishing videos um, out of me this summer. I'm really happy to get this one. Uh, that's a live eel. That's not a fake eel like I showed in the picture. I'm using the, uh, for the rod that is the John Skinner rod, the Dark Matter, 9 foot 2 inches. Wow, it makes a really good eel casting rod, which is not surprising. That's one of the things it was designed to do. And uh, I really like these larger eels, 17, 18 inches. Uh, so, the circle hook's supposed to hook in the jaw. This one did not do that. I've got to reach in. It's, it's not up in the stomach. It's up on the roof of the mouth. i got to pop that sucker out of there. And I can. And uh, fish is going to be okay. Um, I'm going to have to revive them a little bit. I'm doing that with the light off. Um, but like I said, that's not the main event. This is. And what you'll see here is not supposed to happen in Long Island Sound. I just sight casted a shark. I, I don't have any wire, so... The chances of me landing them are not very good. Nonetheless... Um, it was maybe 10 or 15 feet, maybe 15 feet away from me. He's on a rock there. Whoa. I'm surprised he hasn't broken it off yet. The uh, with no wire. Yeah, what happened was I saw a disturbance on the surface of the water. I threw the eel on it, thinking it was a bass, and it was no bass. Uh, the, obviously, this is in the dark to see it a little bit better. Uh, this is in 4K. If you watch it in 4K, that will help. It helps if you turn the lights off in the room. Some parts are going to be lighter than others, especially the good parts. Up against the rock. All right, they have been a full spool of 40 pound braid. Um, but like I said, the fish hit right in front of me. So whatever line you see off the reel, that's line that uh, that fish has run off of there. And it was running for a bit before I turned the camera on. I'm up against the rock this whole time. It's rubbing. I can just feel it. I am gaining line though, so... But again, there's... Uh, as soon as he gets his teeth on that leader... Alright, that's 60 pound cigar fluorocarbon leader. Oop. Might have come off the rock. Or not. No, I think he's uh he's off the rock. Okay, so he's off the rock for now. I if I can put some line on. 
So one of the best lessons in this video is going to be how to deal with a big striper up against the rocks because you know, it doesn't matter, shark or striper, uh, the line's up against the rock and it's not so much this rock, it's one that's going to happen in a little bit and um, you know how to deal with that. Yeah, he's got so much line off the reel. God, there's a lot of weight. Obviously, this is not the rod for this. It's doing a good job, though. Getting some line. Just, he's got too much line. Forever to get this back. I need him to swim back towards me. Got a dilemma. Do I get off the rock? So with my light on, I actually just attracted some squid. Very surprised. Uh, should I get on the beach and follow him? Might have to. I might have to do that. Keep the rod high. Just one way of getting some line back. Try to keep it high. Highest point of the beach right here, and it's rubbing again. All right, I'm trying to stay as high as I can to keep the line out of the rocks. Now, what you're going to hear pretty soon is as I pull back, you're going to hear that line squeaking against the rock. It's important not to put too much pressure on, but you can get a fish in this way. the rock. Okay, braid is really hard to break if it's not under a lot of pressure. So what I'm doing is when I'm in a situation like that, I'm, I'm going to loosen up on that drag. However, on each pump, what I'm going to do is either I'm pushing the line against the rod or I'm cupping the spool. And I'm doing that because knowing I'm up against the rock, should that fish try to bolt, I can just let go and there won't be much pressure on the line. I've done it with bass so many times for decades and have won those battles. Just doing the same with the shark. Okay, and right here I'm going to cut out a minute and ten seconds of repetitive pumping and cranking. I see him. I'm also inhaling a lot of insects. I'm going to try and keep them moving from this higher vantage point. I get them close, I'll go down there. 
Oh, a fin, good size fin. All right, the fish will show on video pretty soon here. Um, I can see it before the camera can. I'm sure he's gonna love coming into the shallows. There's a steeply pitched beach. Here's the fin, here's the eye. Wow. <laughs> of course, I have a very short leader because it's, I mean, first for this. <laughs> All right, I consider that a catch. Whoa. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm psyched I landed this on my nine footer. All right, it's a brown, a protected species. Uh, I don't want to remove it from the water, so uh, right. I can't pull them up the slope of the beach either. All right, so I, don't know, I can't pull them on the. There he goes. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Off you go, off you go. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, got to clear those bugs from my lungs. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and check out my online courses at saltstrong.com Skinner.